What's up everybody, happy Tuesday, welcome to the FOMO Factory. In this video I'm gonna do something that you might not like or might like. A lot of people won't like it because I'm going to talk some shit about people. No, not really. But I do would like to talk about the five worst crypto influences out there. Why do I do that? Not because I hate these guys. Some of these guys have still very good calls and they make great arguments. But there are a lot of things with some crypto influences that I feel like, man, 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 man. If people really do this or listen to you, you get wrecked. You get wrecked. And some people, they have like, wow, like, like a crazy following. And I feel like, how? <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. I feel excited, man. If you're too, welcome to the FOMO Factory. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. I'll be here every single day. And you know what, guys? It is a bear market, right? I talk about crypto every day. I work my ass off to talk about crypto every day, to make this community portfolio with you guys that you can actually win, to make my own portfolio, to show you guys, to give you my Bitcoin price prediction, to show you the levels for the altcoins that I'm looking at. But, you know, at a certain point, we want to have some fun as well, right? So therefore, I would like to talk about it. And it's not only, about, uh, by the way, about having fun. It's also just really to warn you guys. Like, and it's not specifically about these five guys because there are a lot of influences out there that say some bad stuff i had bad calls as well but my point is more that you do not want to blindly follow everything that one guy says right even if you watch my videos like a lot of stuff that i say yeah, is great but a lot of stuff that i say could be wrong as well right so therefore whatever you do on the internet when it comes to crypto if you see something if you hear someone talk about something if you see when someone uh, post something always do your research about that do do your research about that right i made a video lately uh just came out because i shot this video what you're watching right now a little on forehand i just released this one five crypto coins under one dollar watch out for this these altcoins will make you lose money right and what did i mean by that if you've seen that video then you get the message right you want to do your research because if you do not do your research you're just blindly listening to people and you know that's a 50 50 that's a chance that you're taking and it could could be wrong uh, could be right but on the other hand if you don't know yourself why you're taking a certain step or why you're investing in a certain project then you really have no belief. And then when something happens in the short term, then you might miss out. And that's not really what you want, right? So whatever. The first one I would like to talk about, and I think everybody kind of agrees on that, right? It's this guy, <laughs> the moon call. Why uh, is he one of the five, in my opinion, worst YouTubers out there? Well, um, it is like, let me first put it like this i respect his hustle right i respect all these guys hustles like these guys you can say whatever you want but he's like this guy has a lot of money he doesn't have to do this i think right but he's out there all the time doing this right um <laughs> yeah you can say what you want about these thumbnails of course but yeah if it works it works right i mean he gets its views and that's what's important to him so you know whatever why should he change that although we all know it's kind of fucking cringe but that that's i guess what works so i'm taking a sip of my beer instead of my coffee today so take, take a good look at it while we're at that mm. all right to the moon why is he in between the five worst crypto influencers well because first of all he, he when it comes to the the uh when it comes to what it's all about he doesn't really know he was really early and he has a he has good businesses running and um in general he knows how to handle this stuff that's what made him rich can't hate on that man I, i'm not there so i don't hate on that i'm not doing it better right what i don't like is that and i don't have a specific video right here but that the guy really when he pulls up trading view uh he he'd he be like he, he he'd be like this yeah man um yeah you you should buy bitcoin because look 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 it's breaking out it's breaking out <laughs> 
<laughs> he does not know how to draw trend lines. And that's what it kind of is all about because he's not talking about investing. He's talking about short term stuff. And in the short term, he doesn't need, seem to know his uh, stuff. Also, the titles are always very misleading. Like everything is breaking and I can't wait for this. And oh, they killed Bitcoin and everything. Oh my God, Bitcoin is ready. Like one day it's like, fuck, Bitcoin is going to shit. And the next day it's like, whoa, Bitcoin. Like, it's being all over the place. It's not consistent. It's like, how can I get as much attention as possible? I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I don't make these titles, right? I sometimes use these capital letters like, watch out because, blah, 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 but then it's actually something you should watch out for. And this guy is just making like, I don't know, he's doing that with he's breaking news. It, it's with every zing, single video. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I just I don't, don't like him. <laughs> the next one is kind of the same. Let me first pull up this guy, by the way. That's that martini guy. And I don't, I don't watch his YouTube, so I don't even know about his YouTube. All I know is about his Twitter. And what I think is kind of weird is that these type of guys have the most followers like this guy and uh what's that other guy called he's also friends with that carl dude um you know that blonde dude i don't even know um he even won a crypto influencer award <laughs> like what but this guy as well like it, 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 I, 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 I sometimes I see something about him on Twitter and it's also all in capital letters every single time like buy Bitcoin today because they're always when when Bitcoin is pumping it's always the case that if Bitcoin goes up a little bit he'd be like okay buy it and when it goes down he'd be like ah, still buy it it's always buy it like Okay, I understand your message. Like, yes, Bitcoin is great for the long term, but also every tweet he does is like, it's supposed to be breaking news or anything. And like these kind of tweets, like, hustle as hard as you can right now. So when Bitcoin is back at $40,000, you can quit to go full time crypto. Like, god damn, that's the worst fucking advice you can give someone. When Bitcoin goes twice as high as right now, you tell people, yeah, you can quit your job. I did quit my job, but I won't recommend anyone doing that. Right? Like, don't quit your job. Why fucking should you do that? And why specifically when Bitcoin is at 40K? Like, do you know what's in everybody's portfolio or anything like that? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird what he does. And he, have all, he has all, all these, like, these, these, I don't know, these weird ass tweets like Bitcoin gap is at 21, 250. It will close. That was four hours ago. Like, and when I look at the four hour chart, I feel like, mm, where? No, it's like, it's like, oh, everything is wrong or something. But it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what, he, what's up with him. It's like he, he, he stopped most of his capital letters though, because it was all, always, good morning, my Bitcoin. Like, what the fuck here as well? Good morning, Bitcoin. Like, what the fuck do you drink in the morning, bro? Calm the fuck down. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, but that that's not the thing. But it's more like he's trying to be so convincing, but at the wrong times. <laughs> like, when everything goes to shit, he'd be like, let's get it. Like, bro, no, calm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't I don't really know. Um, and all these guys they live off of these these partnerships, right? Like if you trade Bitcoin, no KYC, da da da, thirty Bitcoin withdrawal, eight thousand deposit bonus. But these guys never tell you that that's a bonus. Yes, it's you get a one percent bonus maybe, and that goes up to eight thousand dollars. But first you have to deposit eight hundred thousand dollars, or that's a bonus, but you can't withdraw that money because that's a trading. But like it's all a kind of misleading and all that. Um, like, I, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like, uh, never working out for these guys. And, um, also, also this, right. I mean, you see as well, like, I think shorting now is a bad idea. It was on the 5th of November. 
okay, cool. Let's say you shorted them with a 10x leverage or something like that. Like the 5th of November was actually was here. You would have made, uh, well, 10 and you went and you made a 35% gain, right? Like, so he, he, he kind of said, what, should you long Bitcoin? Well, you would be, you probably got liquidated or stop loss, right? Like all these tweets are bullshit. So, but these are the simple guys. These are the guys that I feel like, Man, I'm happy for you and I'm happy you made it. And uh, I don't want to hate on that, but I don't understand where the big cloud is coming from, right? It's, it's weird because you are not bringing any value into the crypto space. Like the really good traders out there, they have maybe 100,000 followers or so, but they make good calls, right? If I think that if you listen to every call of him, you get wrecked. I mean, I just put it out one random tweet and you already would have got wrecked, right? So that's that. <clears throat> Next one, a lot of people gonna hate me for this, maybe, maybe not, um, but that's this dude. That's Crypto Capo. Oh, here, I'm blocked. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. That's the thing with these these, these influencers. Like, um, I don't even know what it was about. Um, I said something like, because that's my point here. He, uh, I didn't follow him last year. So I cannot say anything about that. Maybe he did a great job. He probably did a great job because he has a lot of following, right? But it's now November. Every fucking call he made was wrong. Every time he said something was going down, it didn't go down. It, it like he, he was always down, 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 down. But every time he said that, it went up. And... It was like all these altcoins, like in, I don't know, man, in April, it was like Cardano to 10 cents or so. I can't read it anymore, but, you know, and it never, ever, ever, ever happens. And the thing is with these type of guys, and the next one that I'm going to talk about is exactly the same, but worse, um, is that like, if you, uh, why is anal dust trending? Like, okay. <laughs> But the thing with these guys is that if you do not agree or or you you uh, like you try to you know box a little bit like ah come on where are your calls man why are, where are your good calls they they just block you they like nah black like yeah ah it's understandable that like you, you know, that, that, that 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 it looks like everybody likes you because you block everything and everyone that doesn't like you <laughs> so that's kind of the thing and i don't know um let me let me let me search something like that um like and that's all also the thing like you you don't and like that that doesn't matter for you as an investor but what does matter is that you can get wrecked uh if you listen to him uh the entire year you would have like you would have got kind of wrecked, right? Like it, it wasn't okay then. Um, and let me let me show you this, for example. Uh, I'll pull up something right here. I knew he blocked me, by the way. So I had some other. Uh, where it is? All right, here it is. So this is the last thing he posted, um, and he said altcoins. Okay, goes down, and I don't know if you can read it, but it says like 50, 60 percent down on average. And although I am open to the possibility that that might happen, these type of guys be like this. Like, are you sure? Very sure, very sure that is going to happen. I'm very sure. Yes, 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 yes. But the problem is that everything he was very sure about, like, didn't happen. <laughs> so I, I feel like, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, because someone seems so sure about something, it looks like it actually happens. Like, oh, this guy has half a million followers and he's sure about this. So this is going to happen. He missed out on the complete Bitcoin relief rally. Like there was from June to, do, uh, to August, we had an insane relief rally, right? Um, like, I, I don't know if you were there, probably. But, you know, Bitcoin went up like 43%. Ethereum went up like 2x, give or take. Matic went up like 200%. Um, like I talked about other projects that I like, uh, for example, Cedify went up. 280%. But here he was saying it goes down to 14K. So he was or not in a position uh, and missed out or he was shorting and he got wrecked. Like, and I, I feel like you don't know. Like, yeah, you, 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 you could say like, okay, there's a possibility we go down um, and there's a certain amount of 
percent that you are sure about that. But you can say like in crypto, you, you please do not listen to people in crypto that say this is going to happen because this bullshit. Nobody knows. And that's what I'm trying to do in this channel a lot as well. Like I'm trying to tell you like what I think is going to happen on um, in the crypto market, right? But I'm also um, trying to show you the other side. Like, okay, I expect this to happen. Like, for example, right now, I expect the crypto bottom to be in, right? That's my expectation. But I also want to prepare myself and you as well for the fact that if what, you know, what if it's not like what, what if we go down? Like, are we prepared? Because, yeah, you either wrong or right. So the chance kind of 50 percent like, <laughs> you know, so um, no, I, I don't I think this is kind of dangerous. Uh, OK, I'm going to save the worst for the last. <laughs> Let me go to this one right here. Um, this is a mustache and. There are a lot of these kind of accounts that all like, I don't know, man, someone posts then like he posts a chart and then some, some, some friend of him is like, oh, good one, good one, here's mine. And it's all bullish. And although I'm a big crypto bull, I like to see some positive charts. I like the charts that they post. So it's not like um, he's, he's posting bullshit. Like the charts are kind of nice though. Uh, like it's in a bullish megaphone pattern, target $80,000. But like he has been posting bullish charts the entire year and he always makes, you know, these, 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 like these, these crazy comparisons with other years. And sometimes they correct, sometimes they're not correct. But the thing is that as long as I know this dude, I only see bullish stuff uh ta trader this one as well i think i don't know if this is the same guy um but something with ta trader um but he's always only bullish like it's crazy the the can you think six thousand dollars like and if you if you follow this like kind of a lot of people follow this 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 profile right but the thing is that like i said i've been following this guy for over a year or something like and at least this year but this is what the market did right yeah at a certain point you're gonna be right <laughs> of course if you if you post here like okay bitcoin is going up yeah uh, uh yeah indeed like it's going down other way sideways and down sideways and at a certain point we're going up and then he'd be like yeah i told you <laughs> like, that's not how it works <laughs> like what also watch kind of out for that because it's uh in your mind um that you are willing to you know you're mo more open to the idea to hear what you want to hear like i have a large position in altcoins you know besides my cash position so i wouldn't mind the crypto market to go up so if someone shows me a very bullish chart and i look at that i feel like oh that's nice uh, that's what i want to see right but it could be a little false it could be like bullshit <laughs> like watch out for that watch out for that like and uh that's just what i want to say again not not to i don't want to bash all these guys um uh, maybe the last one a little bit because that's really but <laughs> i don't want to bash these guys but i just want you to watch out i'll um you know i make videos all the time about you know building a portfolio uh prepare like i mean we have all these 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 run-ups and then we have a bear market right and then again now we we, uh, we had a run-up and now we have a bear market and th this is where you want to prepare right like here is where you want to do the good stuff the work the effort you want to dollar cost you want to find the right projects you want to read i don't want you guys to get wrecked already um like for example if you watch too much of these tweets right here like really if you follow this guy you you really get the urge to go all in like and in the long run, you know, it might be fine. But in the meantime, like how how badly could you get wrecked? Like, like, whoa. So really watch out for that. Now, the last guy, uh, he blocked me as well, I think. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I have screenshots. <laughs> like, and th th that's the same. That's what I wanted to say about the uh, uh, crypto uh, couple. Um, Every time you say something like you don't agree or you really just 
being critic like you don't want to throw like if someone comes to my twitter and really trolling me and uh accusing me shit and doing that all the time yeah then at a certain point i feel like okay fuck off i'm gonna block you indeed but like if you if you like like say something that you don't agree on or be like yo dude what the fuck is this and instead of just you know going into the conversation nah just blocking you then i feel like ah okay then you get some kind of a god complex i think because then you only surround yourself at a certain but because everyone who didn't agree with him he already blocked right so now he's gonna pe keep posting more bullshit because like he only has like a following now that be like oh yeah nice job nice job and he'd be like oh i'm the best and that's not really like uh yeah that's not how you how you i also said something in a tweet about that by the way let me show you um so here's his problem <laughs> and it's not one thing or two things i don't know I, I i don't know him for very long and um i saw some tweets of him and i thought like oh here's some interesting tweets right there but then I felt like, oh my god, this is just another, this is just a unrealistic um, shiller with his head in the clouds that can't stand criticism. And I really don't like that type of uh, stuff because this is what gets people wrecked, right? So, okay, here we go. So he does this a lot. You have to imagine, this guy has like 70,000 followers or so, right? And he'll always be like, oh, I'm so good. Like, okay, okay. After my call at a 1.5 million dollar market cap and its huge pump to 3.2 million yesterday, Fortune just dipped down to 1.6. Like everybody with a little brain knows what's going on here, right? Like, really? Like, okay, so first of all, you're implying like, okay, after my call, it went up. I'm so genius. Now you're shilling a micro cap coin in front of 70K people. Of course it pumps, <laughs> right? So uh, what did he do? Well, of course he bought at 1.5 million or so. And he sold around this level, right? And now it did back. And now he's trying to do the same fucking pump and dump on the same guy again. Like, no shame. <laughs> like, no shame. Fuck you followers. Let's go. Like, wow. Why are you doing that? Why? Like, and I get it. I, I wouldn't do it like that, but I get it. All right, but... Then I, 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 I said something about that. <laughs> I don't know. Let me, let me find if I have that uh, tweet, that, that my answer right there as well, because it's really disgusting. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, I don't have it there. I don't have it there. So <clears throat> what I said, like, I, I just responded like, so how to make money in a bear market? Well, use 70,000 people as your exit liquidity twice and instead that he he gets the message like yeah uh <laughs> like of course people think that i'm pumping dumping this token which is probably the case right he doesn't he doesn't seem to care or explain or feel like oh shit no nah, it's more like oh someone is on me like okay block him before people see that and i'll be like oh dude why why this makes you like, look a little more suspicious uh, like i'm dutch i don't know um Luckily, I have three Twitter accounts. <laughs> no, because I also made music and I have a Twitter account about that. And um, so he, he posted a tweet, something like, uh, I don't know where it is again. Um, so he, he tweeted something like, yesterday I got 50 people that are hating me and calling me a scammer and saying that I'm using that as exit liquidity and I had to block them all. And I was like, why? So I posted this on my other account. Um, and I felt like, yeah, he has to respond to this, right? So I said, like, yeah, but blocking everybody with a different opinion sounds a little bit like dictatorship, right? I wonder you always think you're right if you only have the people left that agree with you. It slows down your growth as a person as well. So learn to deal with criticism instead of blocking it, right? I think that's a fairly fair response. His response was blocking that account as well. <laughs> like, okay, bro, I don't know how old you are, but this is ridiculous. So that was one. <laughs> There's more, right? So 
this was really the stupidest thing he said. Um, I don't know if you care about this because you don't even probably know this guy, but I just want to, I feel like fuck shit up today. So this was something else. And this is what you guys got to be careful with. Because, it, again, it's not about bashing people, but it's about being careful with stuff, right? Because if you see an account on Twitter saying something and everybody agrees, you might be like, oh, this guy's really good. No, that guy's probably block blocking everybody that doesn't agree, right? So watch out and also this watch out with this so he said like 90 percent of the top 100 coins from the last bull run in 2017 dropped by 20 or 100 ranks and by 80 percent or more in market cap okay i don't know if that's are exactly the numbers but could be right for that reason do not get in any top 20 coins and be careful with top 100 coins 90 percent of them will be irrelevant in two years so this last sentence shows how he doesn't know shit. Because <clears throat> you know what the funny thing is, like, yeah, I'm a new channel, I have 2,000 followers. You might feel like, oh, the amount of followers determines the amount of knowledge that you have. That's kind of bullshit, right? Because um, there are two things in, in, in this sentence that are fucking incorrect, like really, really incorrect, right? One, 90% of them, will be irrelevant in two years. Because 90%, if that's the case, of the top 100 coins from the last bull run in 2017 dropped, right? Let's say another 90% of them will drop as well. It won't make them irrelevant, right? If you drop by, for example, 20 ranks, and you're still in the top 100, so you drop 20, you're not irrelevant. You're still out there. Like, it's, it's not irrelevant, right? Um, but that's not a big thing. So I have basically three things in the sentence, in the sentence that's bullshit. So that's one, and that's necessarily irrelevant. Um, plus the general market will be higher by then as well, right? Um, so yeah, they could drop in ranks, <clears throat> but they don't all drop in market cap, right? Because there's more money coming into crypto. But uh, nine, just because 90% dropped back then doesn't say 90 percent that we have now um uh, will will also drop and I, I i can show you why that's the case um but like i yeah i don't know it's it's very amateuristic uh to put it like that so we have coin market cap history and we have coin market cap right now and let me show you guys something because i just want you to know you know the general crypto stuff before you get into anything um so he um he, he said that was in 2017 right from the last bull run in 2017 okay so the bull run in 2017 was in yeah december so if we take a look at that then um, we have to take a look what was in December 2017. So let's go, I don't know, 17 December, right? Like, yeah, that was kind of the high, give or take, right? This was the top 20. So what did we had back then, right? We had Bitcoin Ethereum, okay, cool. But we had Bitcoin Cash, for example. We had Dash, we had NEM, Bitcoin Gold. We had NEO, um, Quantum. Bitconnect, for fuck's sake. Populous. Oh my go, right? And then the rest. Right? So, like, and then there are all these kind of shit coins right there, right? So that's like bullshit. But a lot of these projects, can you tell me what, what did they do back then? And what made them so special? For example, NEO. You had NEO and you got gas in return. I don't know if you were there in 2017, but there was some kind of a staking token and it was one of the few. So everybody was like, well, but what is it? Like most of these projects are bullshit projects that you see right here. Most of these are in trash, right? And that's the top 20. I'm not even talking about the rest in the top 100. You didn't even probably know about all these projects. Like there are a few that you probably know, but even on this page, like, what are these fucking coins? It's bullshit, right? If we now look in the top 20, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stablecoin, BNB, right? The largest 
coin of the biggest exchange, uh, the gas token of one of the biggest L1s out there, lots of utilities, another uh, stable coin, XRP still there, another stable coin, Dogecoin, a meme coin that's going on for I don't know how long. Cardano goes long back, Solana, super fast chain. We have Polygon, we have uh, Polkadot, we have another meme coin, we have uh, a stable coin, we have Tron, Avalanche, Uniswap, the biggest DEX on the Ethereum chain, what, wrapped Bitcoin, basically Bitcoin. We we have Litecoin, still there, didn't go anywhere. And we have Chainlink, one of the biggest projects out there that connects all projects, right? So I feel like, okay, what you are saying is that, um, because if we go back to that tweet, do not get in any top 20 coins, like, because they won't be relevant anymore. I don't know much in the, like, and, and that, that's what people expected here as well, I know. But the use cases are so much better right now than what it was back then, right? Like, what's wrong with most of these projects? I maybe can count on one hand that I know for sure that won't maybe uh, stay in the top 100. Well, at least not top 20, but maybe even not in the top 100. But... That's a big maybe because most of these are fucking great projects. So, and, 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 and he says, do not like, and that's where it gets more dangerous. For that reason, what happened five years ago to a lot of fucking coins with shit like shit coins, like with no good utilities, what happened back then, like in, in, like in a half a decade ago, what happened back then, do not get in any top 20 coins. So what he's saying and I'm not making anything else out of this. He is literally saying, don't get into Chainlink. Don't get into Litecoin. Don't get into Uniswap. Don't get into Avalanche, Tron. Don't get into all these stable coins. Don't get into Shiba or Dogecoin. Don't get into Polkadot. Don't buy Matic. Don't buy Solana or Cardano. Don't buy XRP and don't buy BNB. And the most stupid thing he says, do not buy Ethereum and do not buy Bitcoin. I need more of that. Like, do and I, 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 maybe he means something else, but it's pretty clear what he says, right? Do not get in any top twenty coins. So you should not buy Bitcoin, bro. You're in crypto. What kind of idiotic argument is that? Like, what, 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 what? A statement. What, what's that for? Ridiculous statement. What he does says. Is this quant? You all know quant. He talks about quant. He's a big believer in quant, and I like quant. Quant is a good project, right? Quant is sorry. Quant is a nice project. It has a good utility, and it had a very good run, right? It went from like forty-three dollars at the bottom to like around two hundred and thirty dollars at the top, and it's now you know coming down, of course, because after such a run-up, you have to come down, right? Um, still a high cap coin, but it's a good project and it deserves to be quite high cap. I totally agree on that. But then we get this. And this is where people get wrecked. What is the price ceiling for quant? It is already 10 times bigger than all of crypto with a 23 million transactions per day on just one DApp Spunta of one client Sia versus 20 million transactions per day in crypto in general so could it reach the market cap of gold which is 10 trillion dollars that's one million dollars for one quant and become the largest asset in the world why not so he's not even saying it could be way bigger than bitcoin but the last largest asset in the world why not? So, I don't know, but he's suggesting that Quant goes to a million dollars. At least he's saying there's no reason that Quant doesn't go to a million dollars. Like, dude, let's be real here. Like, a lot of people now have the problem 
that they saw that tweet. I don't know when he, he, he posted that. Let me see. Can I take a look at that? 16th of October. Where's the 16th of October? Oh, my God. It's also at a terrible time, I think. Yeah. So at the 16th of October, 70,000 people read that, right? So that was here. When Quant was around $200. So a lot of people probably thought... Because that's how crypto works. People don't do their own research, right? They, they read something and then they, they, they do it. They buy it, right? So a lot of people thought like, Quant is going to a million dollars. And he knows that how, that's how its audience works, right? Like, so he should be careful with his words if he means something else. But it's pretty clear. So a lot of people bought it right here for around $200 because they felt like, yeah, but it's going to a million dollars anyway. Well, congratulations, you lost a quarter of your money so far, right? And like, and you don't lose it if you don't sell it. That's kind of bullshit because you also could have taken that money and bought something else that was going up. Like, it went down from the 17th of October. I don't know what the fuck the rest did, but if I look at the 17th of October, for example, dot, look, dot went up from $6 to $7. It's 15% pump. That's better than a 25% loss, right? So... It's also the bad timing, right? Like at the top of this relief rally, basically he says something like that. But also it's just like Quant goes to a million dollars, goes to a $10 trillion cap. Like the entire crypto cap right now is one trillion. And he says that one single asset could go to 10 trillion. That's 10 times as big than the entire crypto market cap is right now. <clears throat> Dear Mr. James Bull, that won't happen. I believe that you are a big believer of the project and that you like the project and that you're bullish on the project and that the project has a lot of potential, potentially. But don't post this kind of bullshit. It's such, uh, it's such, it's such bullshit. Like, and then you get these arguments like, yeah, but BNB was also at $2 and people would have never believed it, it goes to $300. That's something completely else because this market cap was fucking low when it was at $2. Like Quant is already ranked 33, right? Watch out for the top 100 coins is what you say. Well, here you go. So really, really really watch out for that really watch out for that and this is getting caught up in the hype so that's kind of my ne next tip don't get caught up in the hype um i don't have it but you know if you get caught up in the hype this is what happens he saw quant going for 50 dollars to 200 dollars. great he also posted a uh, tweet which he deleted by the way <laughs> that he went 50 percent of his portfolio into quant when it was 170 dollars or so congratulations you're now down big time on half of your fucking portfolio right but don't get caught up in the hype because even he thought like oh it goes 200 dollars now it's going to 500 now it's going to thousand now it's going to this how good a project is, there is no, like, it, it, there's, it's never up only. It's never up only. So if you like a project and you see it go up, 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 it's great. Wait for it to cool off. Wait for it to come down. Because I tweeted it back then as well. Like, quant holders are about to get wrecked. And yes, you were about to get wrecked. Because a lot of people bought this top, right? And then you would have been down quite a lot if you bought this stop and you went down all this way some people throw some ridiculous money at it they're down more than 30 percent well you could have been up with 10 20 30 percent if you weren't going into some other coins where you bought the bottom instead of the top right but it's because of these tweets that these guys make like ah oh, yeah but it's going to a million dollars or a hundred thousand or whatever the fuck that you think like oh this is a good buy anyway no it's not a good buy it's not a good buy right so um yeah watch out for that <laughs> that's me preaching i know i don't get that likability from a lot of people because i'm bashing other uh people it's not again it's not to bash people um it's not to talk bad about people it's about warning uh people like yo just watch out with some guys like Social media can, can, could get you, uh, you kind of hyped up, right? If you read tweets, if you see videos about that and that coin, it gets you hyped up. I made that mistake as well. I did that a lot with Ren from Crypto Banter, for example. Um, 
I don't have him in this list because I think his research is very good. He also always warns people like, do your research on that. This is what I think. And um, that's good because people have to do your research, have to do that research. I did that. I didn't do that in the past. And I bought a lot of cryptos um, back in the day that uh, Rand told me and that got me wrecked as hell. And that's not because of him. That's because of me, right? Like I'm the one who bought it. I'm the one who bought the buy button. Like, for example, if I look at my biggest losses, it's absolutely ridiculous how much money I lost with his calls. Um, but again, guys, it's 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 not about uh, it, it's it's really it's not about these guys, right? It's the end of the day uh, what you do with it, right? But these guys make make you do the wrong thing, like uh, with with Ren. I bought Sunny Aggregator. He talked about that. I put three thousand dollars into that. It's now worth fourteen dollars. I bought Saber. Um, I put fifteen hundred dollars into that. It's now worth twenty dollars. I bought Fader Protocol. I put six hundred and seventy-five dollars into that. It's now worth two dollars and sixty-five cents. Um, I bought Don Key uh, for one hundred ninety dollars. Now worth seventeen dollars. Uh, I bought Wild Well. <laughs> I can go on and on and on. There are a lot of projects that got me absolutely wrecked. Right? That's because of these kind of uh, influencers. So, but at the end of the day. It's your bad if you do something wrong with it. So that's just what I wanted to talk about. Sorry for the long video. I just want you to stay safe. So also for my videos, it goes like if I'm hyped about something, if I like something, if I show you something, it's great. But don't, don't, you, there's no rush. There's no rush to buy it. It won't go up like in a minute after that, right? So you have enough time to do your research on it. So I'd like to uh, leave it there. If you like the content, please give it a like. I'm doing a lot of effort uh, for all of us. And um, that's basically all I ask. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.